Well, hello everyone from the Southern Boy Prepper Channel. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. I think we're done shopping. Uh, we have actually finished our last store run. Um, it, you know, I think we have all the supplies that we need, so now we need to actually switch gears and get the things on the home front ready for what's about to come. I think it's really big, guys. I think it's bigger than what we all know. Oh, by the way, after I finished my generator fix on one of the previous vi visits, I actually filled all my fuel cans. So it gives me an extra supply of fuel. Of course, we got the main house generator um, that we can um, use until that goes out. Let's say if the gas line uh, gas lines shut down for any reason. So we got this little 6500. At least it'll keep the freezers full. Freezers. So I have one large freezer and then I have a refrigerator freezer outside. And like, um, so we've done our meat hauls. Um, so I think we're good. And we got some coffee in there. Richard sausage. The best. Best sausage you can eat. Um, so we got all that taken care of. So we do have meat along with um, other items you know we hunt a lot here too so there's actually game that's inside some of these packages uh, i'll tell you if they say if you go hungry in louisiana there's a problem so this isn't our normal refrigerator so this is just kind of like an overflow so that's extra eggs that we got in there until i do something with them um yeah i think it's about to get pretty deep over here I'm in, located in Louisiana. We currently now have four debts. Um, I have 170 cases. I think it's 16 parishes out of, um, out of all the parishes in Louisiana that are affected. But they started, one parish next to us, they did a, um, they started a curfew. Can't be out past 11 o'clock. Um, I think it's coming for ours too. They're shutting a lot of businesses down. Um, they, we cannot eat inside any restaurants, which I'm sure that that's happening in other places too as well. Um, you can order takeout, but it, the, guys, all of this is like a soft shutdown. You know, we're not like China. You know, China doesn't really have that many firearms, and they didn't have to worry about not being able to control the populace. Here in the United States, everybody, most of the people own guns. So they know that they're going to have problems. So it, it, they're going to have to do soft shutdowns everywhere throughout the United States, and they're going to take it slow. And I've always said that, too. You know, uh, it would be something that would start... Um, Something that would actually start slow, gradually, until they got everybody where they want them. Um, I know it's out of concern of this virus, but I really don't, I'm really not that concerned about this virus more than what I'm concerned about the sheer panic that I'm seeing. I mean, people are really freaking out. Um, you know, we have a friend that works at our local Walmart and she was saying today, it's absolutely unreal. They unbox it and it's gone within two minutes. And we, in our last haul, you know, we didn't go pick up a few things, just a few little essential items that we wanted to make sure that we had, like coffee, you know. Hey, forgot about coffee. So I think this, the, what we got, you know, we stuck some in the freezer. And I think it'll last until we use it. Um, so... And, and, and things are just coming off the shelf. Like, like when we walked in there, it was um, a lot of racks that shelves that are bare. I wanted to do a video. I tried to start one filming the cooler, the freezer sections, you know, of the, you know, different items. And you can't really see through the glass without opening the door. So I just said, no, nah, I'm not going to worry about it. I've already had a video about that before. So, yeah, it's... Um, it seems like it's just not stopping. It's like people are steady gathering and gathering and gathering. And I understand. I understand, you know, because I'm a prepper. And I think this is going to wake a lot of people up that, 
you know, for, food storage is essential for um, many different things that may happen. Um, so I think this is going to wake some up and they're going to, you know, jump on the bandwagon. But, you know, it's not going to wake enough people up. Man, I got to cut this grass, but you see the water on the road. It started raining again, so that's not going to happen. Um, I do plan on getting a tiller hooked up to this thing and get the ground tilled, but it, we just can't get away from all of this rain, man. It's just rain, so I thought we was going to have some dry spells, and I wanted to get that tiller hooked up to the tractor uh, and uh, get some dirt plowed. So I can start putting some stuff in the ground. And that brings me to the next thing, you know, renewable resources. You know, these stores, if they stay bare, what are you going to do if you're out of stuff? You know, you've got to have renewable resources. What I mean by renewable resources is, you know, chickens, um, which I don't have, mind you, um, and things to grow, you know, grow things from the ground. You know, is it going to get that bad? You know, that's a concern. Um, these are all uh, MREs that I decided I'm not going to use. So I got a number of cases. I've been, I, I put them in here in the garage um, because I plan on getting like the condiment packages out of them before I throw them away. So I've got a number of them that are. It's time to get rid of them. Um, sorry for the dirty garage guys, but um, it's a work in progress. I think. Um, so yeah, Louisiana is one of the higher states with the most cases, and uh, it's kind of, it, it's really, I mean, it sets you back, you know, to really see what's actually really going on. Um, especially, you know, we've been through hurricanes and we've seen the, we've seen the the mass buying and stuff, but not to this scale. I have never seen it to this scale. Um, and, and the thing is, it's not isolated to one area. It's everywhere. Um, not only with that, you know, Amazon has announced today, as you know, that they're, they're trying to hire a hundred thousand more workers to keep up with the demand. But also they're saying if it's not non-essential medical items that need to be shipped, they're not going to ship anything else from their warehouse. If it's not, you know, if you're needing a nightstand or a, uh, uh, some kind of clothes that you purchase don't expect it to come in because it's not it's not coming in they just made that announcement today they're going to only focus on emergency items um, you know mm. if you order toilet paper you probably get it um, if you if you need it so um, look at alternate ways you know because I know there's going to be a lot of people that don't have toilet paper and um Look at the alternate ways of how to take care of your business. Now, even if it's going to Lowe's and picking up a, a tea fitting and getting one of them little spigots that you have on your sink, make you a bidet. You can also get portable bidets. Um, you can buy those still online, I see. Um, so, I mean, hey, it's something that we're not used to, but maybe we might need to get used to it, you know, if, if that's an issue uh, with you. But, you know, mostly I've told many people to get your food you know so now we're on the home front we've got all our business squared away we've got all our medica medications we've got all of our medical needs uh, such as first aids um you know i i had had quite an extensive amount of first aid equipment too you know i was an emt at one time so i know the things that i really do need uh for our trauma um you know even sutures um i have all of that stuff um I can't even tell you everything I have, but um, make sure you have that stuff. If it's available, pick it up. Pick up some gauze. Pick up some 4 by 4 pads. Uh, pick up, you know, um, tape. The things that, you know, if you cut yourself, you know, do you want to... Is it something that's going to heal and um, you don't have to go to a doctor for? You know, get you some of the glue, the stitch glue. Um, get some of the things that you can do your own medical on if you need. And because um, I don't think people are focusing on that right now, so it might be a good opportunity to be able to pick up what you can. Um, <clears throat> because these hospitals are going to be overrun, overrun, guys. I mean, they really are. 
um, and they're not going to have time to deal with you. You know, some of them they're sending away if it's not something that's life threatening. Um, and why would you even want to go and be amongst, you know, this virus or, you know, the sicknesses that are all that we can pick up inside the hospital if you can't take care of it yourself? Um, the community where I live is a it's kind of like closed off. Um, it's almost like a loop, if you say, but there's quite a few neighbors that are around. Um, we do have a sergeant with the police department that's right across the street. So, um, I, you know, I used to work with him at one time. So we're, we're good friends, but we don't really talk that much, you know. As far as getting with my neighbors, that really doesn't happen enough, I guess. So I do plan on um, speaking to them about, you know, different contingency plans about what we're dealing with. Um, what are we going to do if it gets, you know, we, we both watch each other's house as well. You know, we try to at least. I, it's almost impossible for me to see what goes on at their house, um, you know, from my yard. Because as you see right here, this is the only inlet and outlet to my property, which is a tree line. You can vaguely see a little truck, and you might not be able to see it in the video, but that's his driveway. So we're kind of spread out. But um, now it's time to start focusing here more on security. Um, I do want to start looking at key locations where um, a member may be uh, on watch because um, I have a lot of different areas, a lot of shrubbery, hidden areas that um, we need to start having some sort of lookout or something if it gets to that point. I do have alert systems on the driveway as I've had a video on that about security, security lighting. Uh, we do have cameras cameras that we monitor so um but you got to have someone someone's going to be up someone has to be up on watch 24 hours around the clock there's no two ways about it because they're going to come when you are expected to be sleeping and you know you got to look at you know if you're sitting at a gas station remember the homeless people that come and tap on your hood and looking for money and some of them are a little more aggressive than the others they're just looking for money or something now you're going to have normal walks of everyday life people doing that at your home front they're going to come to your home they're going to look for food and you got to ask yourself what are you going to do about it um there's some serious questions to really go through. I think I've talked about it on a previous video. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I think we're done. Told my wife, told my other family members that I have that this is our last grocery haul. It wasn't a lot, but it was a few little essential items we needed to get back. I said, so we're good. And, you know, with the preps that I've already had along with the other items that we'll probably eat first due to them you know date wise and everything because I got long term storage and I got a lot of rice that I need to uh, get in five gallon buckets with the mylar bag so that's one of the other steps now as far as us me being able to dedicate all my time right now for this I can't do it because I'm still working they not shut us down to where we can't go anywhere else. And um, I'm going to continue to do it. You know, the bills keep coming in. Um, we, you know, so I'm going to continue to do it and use my safety precautions. So what happened today is, you know, I walked into one of my facilities that I go to and I have my N95 mask on and my gloves. And, you know, they've uh, yeah, everybody's looking at me and some one person took pictures and saying, oh, that's ridiculous. I said, no, what's ridiculous is you don't have one on. Um, people are really not wanting to, they think people are going to make fun of you, you know, or, oh, that's nonsense. That's not necessary. You know, you shouldn't have that. And next thing you know, that person's going to be sick. So do, you know, don't feel embarrassed to put that mask on when you go out in public. Really don't. Because I did all day today and, um, hey, you know, it, it's just a mask. You know, get your eyewear on because we have to wear safety glasses inside these facilities, too. So um, get the stuff you need to to keep you um, from picking something up. You know, I mean, this is this could be as dangerous as what they're saying. You know, or it may just be a flu. 
but don't take that precaution, you know. Uh, don't don't take that, you know, side that's going to be. Uh, it's not as bad as people are going to say it's going to be, you know. If it is, you know, great. That's awesome, you know. That's something that we want to know. But we can't stop the government from doing what they're wanting to do. They're they're going to shut everything down. So no matter what we think it is, it's not going to stop them from shutting everything down. So when everything is actually shut down, please, I hope you have the stuff you need to be able to live. Um, the government is talking about assistances, and, you know, if you have a home loan or something, things are going to be deferred. Uh, income tax is going to be deferred. Um, you know, that's stuff that you shouldn't even really worry about. You know, we'll deal with that on the, on the end. I know it's going to bankrupt a lot of people on the end of this, but, you're, you know, there's nothing you can do. I mean, your hands are tied. I really think it's more than just a virus. But I'm going to reserve those things because I don't want to think that people that think that I'm uh, some kind of idiot. Just get your food together if you haven't. And um, I wish everyone well through this whole incident. I wish I could wake up tomorrow and it's gone because, you know, I'm getting older and I got kids and I really don't want to have to deal with this. But I think everybody's everybody's worried. And, and you know, I look at it like... You know, I've waited for these things to happen. You know, I've prepared for these things to happen. I didn't think this would be this huge. And I'm of right mind. And, you know, and i got a level head and I'm cool about it. I'm not going to freak out, not going to panic. But the ones that aren't in the right mind are the ones that are panicking. And they're panicking bad. People, The way they look at you in the stores, you know. I mean, everybody's got this facial expression like, um, something's going to happen. Hey, you never know. You know, NASA has reported about an asteroid supposed to come into an atmosphere next next week. Yeah, I'll throw that one out there for you. What if? What if this whole thing is something that they've been watching for the longest time and there's no way to for them to step up to the plate and say, hey, an asteroid's coming. Um, you know, could you even imagine the chaos? But if they get everybody isolated in their homes before this thing hits, then it minimizes the amount of people if it hits in a certain area or whatever happens, you know. Hey, it's just something to think about. Hey, I'm not that big of a conspiracy theorist, but it's something to really, you know, check it out, you know. Check out uh, who's talking about it, and you'll see. Check the NASA. You'll see what I'm talking about as well. All right, guys, well, I'll get, get off of here before this phone dies. And I uh, really appreciate you guys hanging in with the video. Please like, subscribe. Please share it on, on your social groups. Um, that will give people start looking, and maybe I can earn some uh, watchers or subscribers. That would really be great. i got a lot more comment. Um, this is one of the things that we are working on to get ready. Um, that's my daughter's Jeep. But um, I think that get us out of uh, areas that if we can't drive down a road and we need alternate access somewhere, else, this will do it. Of course, the, side by, the uh, four-wheel drive Suburban, too, as well, would do it as well. I want to do videos of um, the stuff I have in my vehicles. So uh, once we get all this settled in here and get a little bit better at what we're doing, then I think you'd uh, really enjoy what to see what I do carry on a daily basis, my get home bags. Tomorrow I got a three and a half hour trip to go. And I uh, was lucky that Facebook, somebody was talking on Facebook was from Minden and where I'm going, which is three and a half hours from here, um, was saying that they've ravaged all the, for, uh, the stores over there as well. Um, but, you know, that's about as far as it's going right now, but it seems like this is all over. So I was trying to check ahead before I went and I got a little bit of information I will wear my mask tomorrow, we'll wear my gloves I may look like the oddball out the group when I get this facility but we'll we'll be safe um, get your sanitizer, get something to sanitize as well, keep your hands clean, wash, 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 wash can't say it enough, wash your hands say happy birthday song to you twice and then, you, and then dry your hands alright guys stay well 
we'll uh, we're going to end this uh, and hoping to uh, get you on the next one. And like I said, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and we'll talk to you on the next one later.